Hello and welcome back. My name is William. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a dynamic programming problem called Magical Cows, which featured in the MAPS 2020 programming competition. This is the type of problem that you're likely to encounter in a tech phone interview or even an on-site tech interview. The approach and the solution to this problem are quite neat and well worth knowing. So without further ado, let's dive in. The abridged problem statement goes as follows. Baxter Scott owns several farms with magic cows. Every morning at midnight, the number of cows in each of his farms doubles. While he is ecstatic that he has so many cows and so much milk, the dairy regulator forces him to keep at most sea cows on any given farm which greatly complicates his business. To stay within the regulator's rules, whenever a farm has strictly more than C cows, Baxter selects half of the cows on the farm and moves them to an entirely new, empty farm. The regulator needs to know how many farms she will be inspecting when she visits Baxter's farm. Given the number of cows on each farm, with at least one cow on day zero, compute the number of farms that need inspecting on any given day. Following the problem statement, bounds on the input parameters are given. First, we're given three variables, C, N, and M. The first integer is C, the maximum number of cows allowed on a farm. The second integer is N, the number of farms with at least one cow on day zero, and the third integer is m, the number of different days on which the regulator visits. Following this, we're also given n, the number of initial cows on day zero will be a number between one and c, and lastly, we're given m lines representing all the days the regulator is coming to visit the farm. These are effectively queries we need to answer. All the days that the regulator will come is a list of distinct integers between 0 and 50. Let's have a quick look at an example for the magical cows problem. Suppose we're given that the maximum number of cows per farm is 2, and that there are 5 initial farms, and that we need to answer 3 queries. For the initial farm configuration, we are told that we have one cow on farm one, two cows on farm two, one cow on farm three, two cows on farm four, and one cow on farm five. We are also told that the regulator will come inspect the farm on day zero, day one, and day two. This means that our initial configuration on day zero looks like the following. Assume that the rectangular boxes are farms and that each farm has a certain cow population. Initially on day zero, we have five farms, but when the clock strikes midnight, all the cows multiply by two. Maybe they undergo some kind of cow mitosis by eating too much grass and split in two. I don't really know. Anyhow, what happens at midnight is that all the farms which previously had one cow now have two cows, and all the farms which previously had two cows now have four cows. And those four cows get split into two farms of two cows each, so in total we have seven farms, each of which has two cows. And on the last day, the same thing happens. What we're really interested in is the number of total farms on each day displayed on the left. So on day zero, we started with five farms, and on day one, we got seven farms, and on day two, we're left with 14 farms. All right, so I have read the problem statement and shown you an example. Now it's your turn to go and attempt the problem. I can't say this enough. The best way to get better at dynamic programming is by solving tons and tons of problems. The full problem description and the online judge can be found on Caddis at the link below. I will post a link in the description. I highly recommend you pause the video and go give Magical Cows a try. It's a really fun problem. If you get stuck, I have a few hints to help you out, but always try first without any hints. My first hint is that the maximum number of cows per farm is relatively low. It's actually bounded by 1,000 per farm. Can you use this to your advantage in any way? 
My second hint is that the regulator only visits farms for the first 50 days. So we only need to compute the number of farms for each day up to day 50. Before we dive into the solution, I want to do a quick problem analysis to go over all the key information we know. First of all, we know that at midnight, the number of cows in each farm doubles. This is clearly very important. Second, each farm has a certain capacity of at most C cows. Third, when the capacity of a farm is exceeded because of cow doubling, Baxter takes exactly half of the cows and moves them to an entirely new empty farm. From the problem input, we can also derive some important information. First, that the maximum number of cows per farm is at most 1,000, which is relatively low, well, at least compared to the total number of cows that will come into existence. Another key piece of information here is that the regulator only visits the farm for the first 50 days after day zero. This means that we only need to know answers up to day 50. When trying to solve a problem, especially a dynamic programming problem, always try multiple different inputs that are different than the provided example coming from the problem statement, or from the example provided by your interviewer. Which brings me to taking a closer look at another Magical Cows example, but this time in more detail and with different input values. Suppose for this scenario we have a maximum of 8 cows per farm, four initial farms, and that we need to answer one query. We're also given that the initial farm configuration is one cow on farm one, three cows on farm two, two cows on farm three, and one cow on farm four, and that we're interested in knowing the number of farms on day four. In this example, I'm going to track the number of cows per farm as a number in a square because drawing all the cows would mean drawing, well, a lot of cows. In fact, an exponentially growing number of cows. When the clock strikes midnight, all our cows double, and we're still able to fit all the cows in the original four farms, since none of the farms have exceeded the cow capacity of eight. On day two, we again double the number of cows, but this time there is an overflow in the farm with six cows. So we had to split 12 cows into two farms of six cows each. On day three, more farms start reaching their maximum capacity. And we start seeing that there are starting to be a lot of farms with eight cows and six cows each. And on day four, the number of cows doubled again. And we see that all the farms are either six cows or eight cows. In the last example, the key observation to make is that rather than keep track of all the cows in every farm, we can keep track of the frequency of farms with a certain number of cows. Explicitly keeping track of the exact number of cows in every farm would result in exponential storage growth, while tracking the frequency of cows for each farm size is bounded by C, the maximum number of cows per farm, which we know is at most 1,000. Let's redo the previous example, but this time keeping track of the frequency of farms with a certain number of cows in the table. The table you see has days as rows, indexed starting with day zero, and columns representing the frequency of farms with a certain number of cows. We can start filling the entries for day zero in the table since they're given in the input. For one cow on farm one, we can increment the number of farms with one cow column. For three cows on farm two, we can increment the number of farms in the third column, and so on. All right, so we finished filling the first row. Now we can calculate the frequency for all farms on day one, which we should be able to do with the information we have from day zero. The gist of the idea is that for a particular farm size, if we can double the number of cows without going over the farm capacity, we do so. But if doubling the number of cows goes over the farm's limit, then we double the number of farms with that capacity. Let's continue filling the table and you'll see what I mean. So for all farms with a capacity of one, we can double the number of cows in the same farm. So now there are two farms with two cows. Similarly, for all farms with a capacity of two, 
we can double the number of cows in the same farm. So now there is one farm with four cows. And the same idea for all farms with three cows. The rest of the entries for day zero are empty, so it's safe to ignore them. Moving on, we see that we can double the number of cows for all farms with two cows, since there's no overflow. And similarly, for all farms with four cows, since doubling doesn't exceed the farm capacity of eight. However, when trying to double the number of cows in a farm with six cows, we get 12 cows, which overflows the farm. So instead of doubling the number of cows inside one farm, we double the number of farms. So from what we've seen, orange arrows represent doubling the number of cows when we do not exceed the farm's capacity, while blue arrows represent doubling the number of farms when we would overflow the farm's capacity. So armed with that knowledge, try and fill out the rest of the table. Pause the video if you need more time. All right, I'm going to let the animation play for the rest of the cells. Try and follow along. Awesome, and that's how you fill out the frequency table. Now to answer the question of how many farms the regulator will visit on any particular day, simply sum up all the values for that day. For example, if you want to know the number of farms on day two, simply sum together the column values two, two, and one for a total of five farms on day two. Let's break down the recurrence I've been using to generate the values in this table. First, there are the orange arrows, which represent doubling the number of cows within the same farm because there's enough capacity in the farm. To track this, I say that for the next day, at row day plus one, at the column index, i times two, meaning in the column tracking all farms with twice as many cows as this one, add the number of farms from the current day. And for blue arrows, I say that for the next day, on row day plus one in the same column, double the number of farms which exist today. What decides whether we're going to double the number of cows or double the number of farms is the capacity of the farm. If the farm capacity allows for the number of cows to be doubled without adding new farms, then we can double the number of cows. Otherwise, we can double the number of farms. For this example, I was building the next row relative to the previous row. But if you play with a formula, you can rearrange it so that you can also build current row by looking back at the values from the previous row, which often feels more natural, I would say, in dynamic programming. But the former seemed easier to explain, which is why I did it the other way. Both recurrences are equivalent and valid, but the code for each one is slightly different. So something to keep in mind. All right, now that we understand how to solve the magical cows problem, let's have a look at some pseudocode. I'm going to begin by defining a few variables and constants that we will need. The first thing I declare is the max days constant. This effectively tracks the number of rows in the DP table. Following this is c, the maximum number of cows per farm. Then we have n, the initial number of farms, followed by m, the number of visits from the dairy regulator. After that, I define the dp table to be a 2d table with max days plus one rows and c plus one columns. You will notice that we're actually not going to use column zero since at no point is there ever any farm with zero cows, but having C plus one columns does make indexing into the DP table easier because you can work in a one-based index system and avoid subtracting one every time you need to access the column value, which is nice. After the DP table is the initial number of cows in each of the original farms. This is stored in an array of size N, and lastly is an array of size m containing all the days the regulator is coming to visit Baxter's farm. Now let's have a look at the solve function which handles all the computation logic. 
First, we count the initial frequency of farms of different sizes for the first row of the DP table. We can do this by iterating over the original count of cows in the original farms, which is provided in the input. Then for each day, or rather each row, iterate over all the farm sizes, and based on the size, either double the number of cows, because doubling the number of cows doesn't make the farm go over capacity, or double the number of farms because doubling the number of cows would overflow the farm. Lastly, answer each query by summing all the row values for whatever day the regulator comes to visit the farm. And folks, that's all I have for the magical cows problem. I hope you learned something. Please like and subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time.